<laughs> I don't think I realized I was a leader until I turned uh, 39. <laughs> I was doing a lot of things, but I didn't see myself that way. Um, and uh, I wasn't, I wouldn't say I was excellent at it. There was a big learning curve for me because I mostly just wanted to do what I wanted to do. And so it took a lot of time for me to figure out, well, you know, if, it took a lot of time for me to figure out how best to work with people because I had gotten to a point where I only wanted to do things if the, I could be the one doing them. That was mostly a quality control issue, not a control issue. So I would say coming up, trying to figure out what leadership might be, I think I did have an instance where I was in high school and my brother, my younger brother went, and my cousin went. And so you have kind of like a built-in gang like that. And so um, we were all a bit of pranksters, and so I was just kind of the lead prankster, right? Um, which uh, taught me a lot about how to work, <laughs> work with people in a way, uh, probably not in the best interest of things. Um, but it did teach me a lot about how to like work with a group of people in a, you know, to accomplish a thing. It would have been nice if we had done it academically. <laughs> My mother doesn't approve. My life hero? Mm -hmm. What a loaded question. If I had to pick a life hero, I would have to say Prince. Um, a lot of the things that I um, am confronted with, I often ask the question, what would Prince do? Prince was, you know, an extremely hard worker. He was extremely disciplined. Um, he was extremely self-aware. He was driven. He was goal-oriented, detail-oriented. All of these things that I am not. And so usually when I'm confronted with something, there are a couple of people that I attach myself to, you know, what would they do? But Prince is, nine times out of ten, it's a, it's a question of what would Prince do. My favorite hobby would have to be reading at this point. Um, as someone who writes, I don't get to do as much of it anymore, especially now that I'm organizing and doing so many things. And so reading used to be this thing that was extremely mandatory and it's turned into this thing that's more of a hobby, unfortunately. Whereas like writing has come from hobby to career. Mm -hmm. So I had a flip. I think most people would be surprised to learn that I am, uh, at least in my mind, lazy like I know that my schedule looks the way that it looks and and all that but I know myself and I know what I'm capable of and I know that I'm most of the time probably hitting about 50% mostly because I just aim for what do I have to do to get me back to the couch and so that's what I do that day so I do a lot of things but nine times out of ten the goal is to get me back to the couch My best friend when I was a child is a guy named Stephen Foster. He was a young white guy. He lived uh, practically across the street from Marion Franklin High School. And we got in all manner of things over the years. Um, but he was easily my best friend coming up for many years. My favorite form of art is uh, anything associated with words, writing, basically books, um, but writing would have to be writing, yeah. Um, with writing, you can do anything, right? You can go anywhere, you can be anything. I can convince you of anything if I'm a good enough writer. Um, 
It's a joy, it's a release, it's anything a person needs at any given time. It's why everybody can do it, right? As opposed to everybody playing music or drawing or painting or dancing or singing. Writing is a thing everyone can do. And so to me, that's easily top of the list. My favorite ice cream flavor is coffee. It makes me pretend like I'm having coffee without all of the bad effects. <laughs> I think my favorite quote is a quote that I made up. It's just, just create harder. Um, everything that I have, I have because of something that I created, because, mostly because of writing, you know, my car. Uh, my house. My life is a result of things that I have written. And so to me, I just tell people all the time, just create harder. If you're not getting what you want out of your life, just create harder. I may not have one. Like I'm always looking for new information so that that, ro that idea rolls around differently, rotates out, right? That's a tough one. I don't know if I have a single one. You want me to come up with one though, don't you? If you have one, that would be great. I don't have a set one. Other than the Just Create Harder, I don't have a set one. Okay. Like, it kind of works both ways. It's a philosophy, it's a mantra, it's a prayer, it's all of those things. If I were president, the first thing I would do is I would cut military spending by 50%. And I would throw all of that money into resolving homelessness, education, um, and crime. And with the 50% cut, you can actually move the needle on all three of those issues. That's day one for me. They won't like it, but they don't have to kill anybody, so. If I could have one superpower, it would be flight. Uh, although I'm terrified of flying. Um, so I would like to get to where I'm going pretty quick, uh, but I don't want to be at 30,000 feet to do it. So if I'm in control of that situation, that's way better for me. If I could change one thing about myself, it would be um, worrying about what other people think. I'm pretty good at that. I've, I've worked on that for a long time over the years, but sometimes that gets in the way, you know? At, even at the creation stage, you worry about what people think. And it's really um, more productive if you can really get that, that demon under control. The thing I love most about myself is that I am an endless fount of ideas. Um, if you throw something at me that you want to see happen, I will come up with an idea with how to do it. And if you don't like that one, I will come up with 10 more ideas with about how we should do it. So I don't feel like I ever encounter a block, like writer's block. I never really have that. I'm always thinking about the things that can be done. And I love that about myself, right? It's my, it's my best trait, <laughs> my creativity.